lawyers in the area. It is, yeah. And I honestly think like we'll feel we would struggle to elect somebody in yeah. the Huron Shores being anti-nuclear. Yeah. But um, you know, like, I'm interested in how you see that being a piece of the puzzle because you've been uh, yep. critical of Pickering yep. fairly recently. Yep, absolutely. Um, but I mean, it's also a big time employer too. Like Williams yeah, just announced great question. today that they have a gigantic new contract yep. and they're starting to cycle more of their employees from contract, which I'm sure yep. everybody's familiar with to full-time employees where they're mm-hmm. giving pension benefits and more people are starting to settle in the area. Yeah. Um, and, you know, obviously it is, Pickering is expensive because yep. it's getting old and it's aging, but nuclear energy over its lifespan yep. is uh, less expensive. Yeah. And in that example you talked about, we could pipe in energy from China, <coughs> China Christ. Not China. Sorry, guys. Go back. Go back. <laughs> From the dam, but I mean, it's not like dams are, you know, yeah. yes, it's cleaner as Great well. Question. It's clean, but uh, like, Great question. I think it's the Narmada Dam in 2011 or 2012 that sank villages in India, right? Yeah. So it's not like we can, we yeah. have clean Oh, absolutely. Dams, but then, right. I, oh, you're absolutely right. So, so, I'm yeah. in so first of all, every source of energy generation has negative aspects to it, period. Solar does, wind does, nuclear does, water power does. Coal obviously does, natural gas does. Every source of generation has challenges and problems. So there is no perfect solution. The best solution is to use less energy and use it more efficiently, which is why it frustrates me and angers me so much that the previous liberal government didn't have a conservation first strategy, even though they had a bill that was named that. In reality, it didn't deliver that. And the current government is actually cut most of the programs to support conservation and energy efficiency. Second, I have never, and even, I just really, it frustrates me. We live in this political world now, and maybe it's because you have 140 characters on Twitter and seven seconds on the average TV interview is, I have never called for shutting down nuclear power in Ontario. Like we, over 50% of our electricity supply comes from nuclear right now. What I have said is I don't think we should be investing in rebuilding Darlington because of cost reasons more than anything else. The price of power from Darlington is gonna double over the next decade uh, to cover the cost of rebuilding it. And why would you do that when wind is cheaper, solar is cheaper, um, Quebec water power is cheaper, and you're right, water power is not perfect either, but the dams there have already been built, so if we can get five cent kilowatt hour power from them versus, you know, paying 15 plus for Darlington, um, you know, I'll take the lower cost power. I have said that Bruce, the refurbishment that's already been done at Bruce, means we're going to be getting nuclear power out of Bruce at least till 2045, at least. Because why would we shut down something that we've already invested billions of dollars into and that, uh, that generates over 50% of Ontario's electricity supply. But I think we need to gradually over time transition away from nuclear and the primary reason is cost. It is, it is quickly becoming the most expensive source of power generation in Ontario. Wind is cheaper, solar is cheaper, um, biomass isn't yet but it's getting close, uh, water power is cheaper and obviously conservation and energy efficiency. That doesn't mean nuclear is not going to be part of our mix. It will be part of our mix. Absolutely. I think it should be a declining share of our energy mix. It's 60% now. It shouldn't be 60% in 2050. So um, as we move to 100% uh, carbon neutral grid, uh, most of that new power is going to come from low cost renewable energy and more efficient use of electricity. I'm good to keep going. I would never deny Lee an opportunity to ask a question, <laughs> especially because she's hosting. And there's a young, there's a young woman over here who has her hand up too. So we'll do, we'll, we'll hear and then hear. Okay, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, Mike. Uh, my name is Lee, and I wanted to thank Danielle for um, uh, 